Welcome back to this video. In this video, we'll see DHCP configuration again uh, because I missed showing you how to exclude address. So we can see that in this video. It's very easy. Some basic commands we need to provide. So I figured uh, just uh, to start everything over, uh, we'll start from creating pool. Then number two, we'll provide the network. Number three, we will provide the default router. Number four, we will provide the DNS server. So up to number four, we are ready. After we do one to four, these devices will get DHCP addresses from this router. This router is also our DNS server. So we will configure everything on this router and we will assign uh, this router as the DNS server. so that these devices will get the IP addresses from the server automatically. That is DHCP, right? The allocation of automatic IP addresses to the devices so that an administrator would not have to statically assign IP addresses. So that's what we are going to see. We'll start from uh, replacing this router. I think this lab is, because I use this lab, for the last video so the configuration is already there so I will just delete this router and start a new one so let me do that Enable configure terminal and interface G000 no shirt IP address 192.168.1.100.255.255.255.0. Now we'll start configuring DHCP one by one. So, what is the first one? First one is to create pool, this one, okay. So that is the first step. So what we need to say IP DHCP pool that is the command exit IP DHCP DHCP pool and we need to provide a pool name. I'm just going to give Cisco 123 Cisco you can give any name okay and that's it. This is the first command we need to provide. Actually the order is not important you can uh, give the network DNS server, but uh, it, it's good to have a certain pattern. That's why I'm going, uh, I'm following these steps. So we are done with this one, right? We are done with this first step. Now, this second one, this one we are going to do provide network. So, what's the command? Simply say network. And what's the network? It's the 192.168.1.0, right? 192.168.1.0. And if I put a question mark, it needs a network mask. So this is a class C. So it will be 255, 255, 255.0. And I can hit enter here and I'm done with number two. So, so we are done with number two. Now what? Number three, provide default router. So, what is it? Default router is basically the gateway address we provided, which was 192, the G000. Where is it? Where did I? Okay, here it is. So, 1.100, that would be the default address. So, default router it is 192.168.1.100 and if i put a question mark nothing is there cr means you can hit enter okay so that's it so we are done with the next step number three done number four provide dns server so we are making this router as the DNS server itself 
right this one as I told you this some moments back this router uh, will be our DNS server also so we need to provide the IP address so we'll say 1.50 we'll make it 1.50 okay so just say DNS the command for that is DNS server 192.168.1.50 and I can hit enter that's it so we are done with number 4 as well done right and number 5 exclude addresses if any so to get the IP addresses for these devices up to number 4 is enough okay this is not a must number 5 is not a must but in some cases we need to exclude addresses so that's what I'm going to show you so what's going to happen we'll go ahead and exclude this G000 gateway address that is 1.100 right so that we will exclude so that the router would know not to allocate that particular address right and we will also exclude the DNS address. What was the DNS address? 1.50, right? So this one will also be excluded, right? The gateway and the DNS address. Those two addresses will be excluded. Now we can make something up. So let me see. I am going to say not to allocate 1.1 until 1.20 okay we will say from 1.1 the starting address and ending address is 1.20 so that the first available IP address is going to be what it's going to be 1.21 right because 1 to 20 are excluded so from 21 it will start and from 21 it will go all the way till 49 right because 1.50 DNS server that one is excluded so it's available from 21 to 49 and then from 51 to all the way 99 because 100 this gateway is also excluded right and from 101 101 all the way till 254 all the way until 254 is also available right so this is how we are going to exclude this will be the pattern will follow so let's see we'll go back to the router very simple i'll show you all we say is ip dhcp excluded address okay first one is the gateway we are going to exclude this uh, gateway address which is 192.168.1.100 that's it no need to provide a subnet mask or anything okay next one is the 1.50 the dns server okay so it will be ip dhcp excluded address 192.168.1.50 now we're going to do the, the 1.1 all the way till 20 so ip dhcp excluded address starting address 192.168.1.1 and then ending address 192.168.1.20 that's it we don't need to provide any subnet mask or anything this would be enough okay hit enter and i'm done so all the configuration is done if you want to exclude more you can do it but for this example purpose this much only I'm showing you so now is the moment of truth we'll see if these devices first of all would get any IP addresses second of all are they getting the IP addresses according to our exclusion so the first available should be 1.21 so one of these will get 1.21 and you know it's available all the way until 49 so anywhere from 21 it's available so we'll see how it goes so we'll go to this pc right ip configuration 
some old address is there so I need to check static again right then go back to DHCP now we'll start seeing the IP addresses as you can see the first one itself first one itself is 1.21 so our exclusion is working right because we excluded from 1.1 uh, 1 to 1.20 so it's starting from 1.21 so that is working we'll see the other ones this is getting 22 is 23 and it should be 24 right so all of them are working DSCP request successful our lab is a success so this is how you would configure DHCP and also how you would exclude any particular addresses so I hope it helps somewhat I uh, hope you understood the concept so in the next video we'll see some other concept in the meantime if you have any questions you can ask me down below if these videos are helping you in any ways please give me a thumbs up also share the video and subscribe other than that i'll see you in the next video until then stay tuned thank you and good day